Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to show you how you can get started getting into some smart contract development. Uh, and we're going to be showing you how you can do this locally. So uh, a lot of tutorials I've seen have uh, done something like this where you use uh, these kind of online uh, IDEs um, to show you how you can do development like this. But I wanted to show you how we could set it up locally. So in order to do that, we're going to be using this uh, package called Hardhat, which gives us a bunch of tools that will help us with that uh, local development. So we are going to show you how you can deploy a uh, contract locally uh, and get everything set up with this hard hat here. So uh, this link will be in the description for the docs here. Come check it out, read it if you want to know more. They have tutorials, it's, uh, they're pretty good docs. So check them out if you like. So I'm over here in my VS code and I just have a empty project here. So the first thing we wanna do is go like this and say git init like this. And that's gonna init a uh, empty um, git repository for us. And then we're gonna be using yarn. So we'll say uh, yarn init uh, and we'll say dash y like this. And that will go through and create our package.json. Now there are some stuff we're gonna need here with the hard hat and whatnot. So we're gonna say yarn and we will say add dash d like this. And we'll just say hard hat. And then finally, we're going to be using MPX. So we'll say MPX and we'll say a hard hat like this. Okay, and this is going to bring up this prompt here. Hopefully you can see this all right. Uh, and it's going to ask us what we want to do. So we can create a, a basic sample project, create an advanced sample project, create an advanced, all these different things using TypeScript, uh, create an empty hard hat config.js. So we're just going to do a basic sample project for now. And we can just uh, click through some of these. We'll say git ignore, sure, well, they want that. And then it's asking us if we want to install the sample project dependencies. So that'll be Gnomic Labs, Hard Hat, Waffle. These are a bunch of testing things, uh, but we might as well get them. So we're gonna install all of these along with it. I don't think we'll actually use those for this, but these are all testing libraries that uh, can come in handy in the future. Maybe we'll do another video on testing and stuff. Uh, we just want to show you how you can get set up and deploy a simple contract right now. Okay, so all that is uh, done installing. Now, uh, if we come over to our left hand side here, you see we have some different folders. We got test here. Uh, some of those installs were for testing libraries and stuff. We have a config here, hardhat.js. We're using JS, not TypeScript. And in the config, it gives us this task already. And then we can come into our scripts and we're gonna have a sample script here. Uh, we're just gonna delete this right now. And then finally, we have this uh, contracts folder and it gives us this greeter.soul. And if you look in the docs here, I believe this is what they're, uh, yeah. So that, that would be this greeter.soul. So they're just giving that us uh, off the bat. So that might be nice to go in through and, uh, and check that out. We're just gonna write that from scratch again. So we'll get rid of that for now. All right, so let's actually create our first contract here. I'm gonna give us a little more room, get rid of this. And we're gonna come into our contracts here, get a new file going, and we're just gonna call it uh, my name, dot sol. So my name dot soul, and then we're going to come in here and this is where we're going to actually create our first contract. So there's a few things that we need to do in order to start off. Now the top of every file, um, your soul files, you're going to say uh, this keyword and it's going to be pragma like this. And then we're going to say solidity like this. And then we're going to give a, a version number here. So for us, we're gonna say 0 0.8, at least uh, 0 0.0. All right, and then we can come down below here and let's actually create our contract. So a contract is uh, gonna be very similar to what a class would look like. So we're gonna say contract and they have very similar functions actually. And we'll say my name like this. And then we're gonna have brackets and this is kind of the syntax. And then in here, we can actually do whatever we want. So we're gonna create a function like this. And we're going to say name and then here we're going to have a few different keywords so it's going to be public 
Then we're going to have something called pure. It's going to be the next keyword. And that means uh, that this function is not going to modify or uh, read from the state. And then what we're going to do is tell, uh, tell the function what it's going to return. So we're going to say returns like this. And then we're going to say it's going to be a string. And it's going to be memory like that. Okay. So then we're going to come over here. And inside of this, we're just going to return whatever we want. So we're going to say return like this. And then we're just going to return a string saying Darwin uh, tech like this. So we're getting this warning, this SPDX license identifier not providing the source file. So they do want you on the top of every one of your contracts to provide a license. So we can go ahead and do that just to get rid of this warning, but it won't uh, really break anything. So we'll just say SPDX uh, license. All right, so we add this and this should take care of the warning. But again, that's not really important for our local development right now. Okay, so this is gonna be our entire contract here. My name, and it's gonna return this function when we call this uh, name function here. Also, one thing to uh, note is in your hardhat config, make sure these uh, Solidity versions are gonna match somewhat to your, um, your contract version up here. Otherwise, you may have a breaking error. So just, just check that out. All right, so now that we have this running, we actually want to be able to deploy this. So we're going to um, come in to our scripts here, and we've got nothing in there right now because we deleted it, and we're going to create a new file, and we're going to call that, uh, we'll say deploy uh, name.js like this. All right, and then the top of this file right here, we're going to import a couple things. So we're going to import uh, at... Uh, Nomic Labs, uh, hard hat ethers like this, and then import uh, also ethers like this from hard hat. All right, so those are the two things we're gonna uh, have. And now we're gonna create our deploy script here. So we're gonna do an async function like this. And then in here, we're gonna say deploy. And then we're gonna create uh, something called a contract factory. Uh, and that's a function that's going to be off this ethers package here. So we're going to come in here and we're going to say const and we'll say my name. And that's going to be uh, equal to await. And then we're going to say ethers dot get contract uh, factory like that. And then inside of here, this is going to uh, reference uh, our my name dot soul here and this function here. So we're going to come in and we need to reference that by saying my name like this and then we can go below here and here we'll just say const and we'll just say name like that and that'll be equal to await and then we'll say my name dot deploy and then await and we'll say name dot deployed like this call that and then finally come down here and we'll say return name like this Okay, so this is our deploy function right now. Now we're going to create another function right down here, and it's going to say async, and we'll say function again. And then here we're going to create a function called print name. So print name like this, and it's going to take the name, and then inside here, we're going to come in and say uh, console.log it out. And we're just going to log to the screen, and we'll say await, and we'll say name dot name so what's happening here is we're creating this uh, get contract factory which is going to reference uh, my name right here and then we're going to create the name and we're going to deploy this my name thing and then we're going to call down here in the print name this name dot name is going to reference this right here which we also called name so we're just going to console dot log this um, and then finally we're going to come down below this and we're going to say deploy and in here, we're gonna say print name. All right, so that will hopefully work for us. So this is our entire deploy script. Um, again, we're just calling name.name .name, and hopefully what we'll get as the result is this printed out or console.log to the screen and that will be our uh, contract. So let's open up a terminal here uh, let's just clear this out for you. And the first thing we need to run is uh, MPX hardhat compile. 
So we're going to say npx hard hack compile like this. And it says that compiled successfully. So that is uh, looking pretty good. And now we actually want to run uh, npx hard hat node like this. And you'll see when we run this that we get a, uh, a bunch of different accounts here. So this is just running locally. But again, uh, these accounts uh, and their private keys are publicly owned. So don't send anything uh, to these because likely these could be lost. Um, but we have a bunch of accounts here that we can play with and uh, start to use. So we're going to have that running. And then we're going to open up a new terminal over here. And in this terminal, we're actually going to uh, deploy our uh, script. So let's say uh, npx and we'll say hard hat like this and then we'll say run and then we're going to say scripts we're in the scripts folder and we'll say uh, slash deploy and we called ours deploy name here dot js and then finally we're going to give it a network because we want to just run this locally so dash dash network and then we're going to say local host like this now when we run this this should deploy it locally Oh, and we're just realizing here that we actually have to not import this stuff. Um, I was using TypeScript before, so I could use ES, uh, ES6 modules and stuff. Uh, but right now, we want to say require. We're going to use this old syntax here, like this. And then here, we're just going to say uh, const ethers. And that's going to be equal to uh, require, like this, and hard hat, like that. OK. So hopefully this syntax works. So we'll come back up here and run that again. And this time, bang, works. Darwin Tech right here. Bump that up a little bit for you so you can see. OK, so that is uh, looking pretty good. This is a deployed script uh, to our local host. Um, and it's a nice way to get started with development locally. So you're not having to uh, deploy things using MetaMask or anything like that when you're just kind of working in development. Um, now, I think in the next video, I'm gonna actually show you how you can uh, connect to your MetaMask and, and do all that different stuff for uh, future development. But I think this is a good start. So hopefully that was useful. And uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.